Let's do it. Hey guys, what's up? Simply Sasha414 here, and today I'm going to be doing a review for you guys, and I'm super excited because my review is going to be on the new CoverGirl, well not the whole line, but they came out with some new products, and I have the foundation, the concealer, and the mascara, and I'm going to review it for you guys, and hopefully have clips of me applying these products and throughout this video so I really hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys are excited to watch so if you want to see my review or what I think about the product then just keep watching okay so the first thing I'm gonna start off with is the foundation and this is the covergirl true blend uh, liquid makeup foundation and this is their new packaging and also I believe new formula sorry there's a plane going by there's so much noise going on in my house right now so I apologize if you hear any but um, this is it up close. It just looks like this. It does come with a pump. I believe the last one came with the pump. I did not use the last one before. Um, I didn't really use drugstore foundation because of the color of my skin. Because I have a deeper complexion, it's harder to find, you know, foundations. So I was really excited to try this one because I thought, since it said True Blend, that it would have a formula that even if it's a little lighter, it'll oxidize or you know blend to my skin tone I am in the color D7 which I will show hopefully a picture of the uh, display I went everywhere trying to find this and the front the place that I finally found it at was Walgreens so if you can't find it it's probably everywhere now because when I went to Target like two days after they were just setting up the display so I'm pretty sure you can get it anywhere this is the darkest color and they have three different I guess categories that you pick you pick um, one of the families which is light medium or dark and within those have different numbers I think one through seven so this is D7 and it is the darkest shade also it was $9.99 but I guess I don't know if you have a Walgreens card and you use it sometimes you get percentages off so I got it for like a dollar off so I got it for $8.49 plus tax or two dollars off because it would have been ten dollars so that's awesome so I'm just going to go ahead and read the description of what it claims to do. There's 21 shades to perfectly match 99% of women. Perfect blend technology covers yet disappears into skin. And it has a light to medium adaptable coverage. So like I said, I got this foundation because I would think it would, you know, adapt to my skin tone. Um, When I first tried it on, I thought it was super light. Um... I think I have a clip. If I do have a clip of me first putting it on, I will insert it now. Okay, right off the bat, it has a strong scent. Like, ooh, that's a lot. Hopefully it blends. Um, it has a strong scent. So, right now I'm just going to blend it in. It seems kind of light, but hopefully it'll blend. So it first kind of goes, it kind of has like a white cast, I feel, when it goes on. But after blending it and it starts to sit, I feel like it starts to, I'm sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder. It starts to look like it will blend and kind of match to your skin. After I think after it sets, um, it'll kind of match to your skin. After wearing it for a couple more days, I actually really like it. It's a really nice, light to medium. I haven't put um, a second layer, so I don't know. I only have it for light. Um, for my skin, I don't need that much coverage. Um, so I like it. And if you don't like that much coverage, you probably would like this too. And it's a great everyday or if you're running to the store kind of foundation. If you like to wear foundation all the time and you just want a light coverage, this is perfect. Uh, it blends nice. After a few minutes, um, it does start to match your skin tone and seamlessly blend into your, like match your skin tone. It does blend seamlessly. I really like it. Um, this 
when they first put it on, I don't know if you guys can tell right now, it's it's kind of like dewy. It's a very dewy finish, I believe. It's not matte. Um, it doesn't have any shimmer to it, but it is dewy. So you would, if you're oily, I would um, set it with a powder. I'm combination oily to dry skin. So I do set it with the powder, but I kind of do like a little bit of glowy. So when I do set it with a powder, to me, I feel like it's still glowy, but it kind of gives an uh, iridescent look to it. Like my cheeks look highlighted. And I really like that. My nose looks kind of shiny in the camera. Um, not so much in, like in my mirror, but hey. I really like the foundation in that sense. Um, there is 21 shades. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 shades that which are new. And yeah, basically that's it. I applied it with the Expert brush from Real Techniques at first. And I didn't really care for it with that brush. Um, I do like that brush though. But, um, and then I use my flat top kabuki brush by Sigma. Um, I think it's the, let me see if I grab it really quick. The F80 flat top brush, and I really did like it. It really helped blend it. So I recommend like a flat to top brush to blend it in, but that's just my opinion. So that's that. Overall, I would um repurchase this again it's really nice coverage really light um probably be really good during the spring and the summer so yeah yeah that's it for that one so next i'm going to move on to the concealer it shouldn't take that long so i really want to just get this whole cover girl product out there okay so i do have some clips of me applying this i hope i do <laughs> Um, I did record myself getting ready before this video. So here is the concealer stick. Okay, it looks like this. I have it in D567, which is deep 567. Just looks like this. It looks like one of those crayon, like, lip things, but it's the stick. I think uh, L'Oreal has one, like, similar to this. And it is a twist-up, which is awesome. I'll do a swatch for you guys. This is how it looks. Hopefully you guys can see. That's how it looks, which you would think will look really nice under my eye. I'm wearing it under my eyes today. I don't really tell a difference of brightening and making it lighter, which I kind of like. But I do, I have like a tiny bit of dark circles and you can't really see my dark circles, which that's awesome. It's, it did its job. Um, It is fairly creamy, I believe. Not extremely creamy. It could be creamier. But, um... Yeah, that's that. The only problem I had with this one is it did crease up on me um, without a primer and without setting it. Even when I did use a primer, it still started to crease, so I had to quickly set it. Um, I think it still creased maybe a little. I don't know. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can kind of see what I'm working with. Um, you see it kind of settled into my line just a little right here. I use it all under here, but I quickly set it. But it did kind of go into my lines right here. And same thing on that side. So it's 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 a pretty okay concealer. Um, let me read the description that it claims for this one. The true it's called the True Blood Fix Stick Concealer. It's available only in six shades um, that perfectly complement true blend liquid makeup. Cover up dark circles and imperfections with True Blend Fix Sticks Easily Bendable Formula. It's the ultimate quick fix in a convenient stick. It fixes dark circles and, and imperfections instantly. Blendable formula glides on effortlessly. It does glide on. Um, when I use, I use the Real Techniques um, Expert Brush to blend it out. And it was pretty okay. It could be a little creamier. I think like me putting it on my hand and doing it with my finger, it's not that creamy. As you can see, it didn't really move. Like, it's not that creamy. It dries pretty fast, so you have to work quickly. The ultimate quick fix in a twist-up stick, and it twists up, which is awesome. So that's it for that, and hopefully I had clips of me showing you it and whatnot. So the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is the CoverGirl Bombshell Mascara. And it just looks like this. And it has sides 1s and 2 on it. This mascara, first of all, is really big. 
really big. Anyways, I'm just going to read um, first what the description says. It says, flaunt the next big things in lashes with bombshell volume by Lash Bass Mascara. The brilliant two-step bombshell boost system combines extreme volume with an intensifying top coat for big, sexy bombshell lashes. Step one, apply the extreme volume base coat. Step two, finish with the intensifying top coat. So it's 10 times more noticeable lashes versus bare lashes. Uh, the step one extreme volume base coat and it takes lashes way beyond big okay so first I don't really the I don't really care for the packaging it's huge like this is my hand and this is the mascara like it's pretty fat it's pretty big so I do have it I was I will do have it on today I'll zoom it in um Honestly, I love it. It really lengthened my lashes. I really like the first step better. I'm not crazy about the second step. The first step lengthens and volumizes and black and makes my lashes black enough. They could have, well, to me, they could have been good with just this side. I know a lot of people do like both, but this is, you know, my opinion, I guess. The second one, I felt made it kind of clumpy like it made it stick together a little bit more like before um i have a clip of them you'll see me playing the first step and the second step the first step make it look long and make it look like i have a lot of lashes and just yeah this one kind of clumped um a lot of my lashes together so it didn't look like i had a lot that much but it did make it blacker so i guess that's what it was supposed to do um it did it was kind of like, the first base coat already dried, and for me to apply the second coat kind of felt like I couldn't because the first coat dried a lot. I don't know. That's how I felt about it. Um, overall, I do like it. I will continue to use this because my eyelashes look bombshell. They look amazing. I just didn't care for the second part as much. So I don't know if I'll be using that as much. Um, maybe when I go out, but for just every day, probably just be using the base coat volume side. So yeah so that is the end of my review guys i hope you guys enjoy it if you would like to see my review on the i think it's the l'oreal butterfly mascara go ahead and leave a comment down below saying yes and like this video i will do that for you guys hopefully hopefully you guys enjoy it um thank you guys for so much views on my um my morning routine if you guys would like to see a night routine go ahead and leave that down below i'm gonna go now just in time because it's like getting really noisy out there you probably can't hear but there's a lot of stuff going on in my kitchen, so, yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you guys on my next video.